Probability of event when rolling a die. Calculate theoretical probability of each event when rolling a fair die. So we have these different probabilities which we need to find. That means probability of rolling 3, probability of rolling 7, probability of rolling 1 or 5, and then we have probability of rolling 2 and 4. And then we have probability of rolling even numbers. So we need to find all these probabilities one by one. So the question here is, if you read it carefully, calculate theoretical probability, right? So when we say theoretical, that means that we have to think about all the possible equally likely outcomes, right? So let's consider a die, a six-faced die for our work. Right. If it is not specified how many faces, by default, it is six, correct? So normally dice is six face. So that is the one which we have drawn on the side. Now what we can do is that we can draw the numbers on it. For example, the dice could have numbers from one to six, right? That is one, and let's say this is three, and let's say that's a number two. Let's say that's a dice which has numbers one, to six. Now we have to see what are all the possible outcomes for this dice, right? So the possible outcomes for the dice is when you roll, we have getting fair die. Fair die means equally likely events, right? So the possible events are you could get numbers which could be one, one dot that means, or you could get two, or three, four, five, or six. So these are different possibilities. Now when we are saying what is the probability of rolling 3, it means what? That means when we say probability, then we are looking for chances of rolling this number out of the outcomes, right? So total number of outcomes goes in the denominator. So we have number of outcomes in the denominator when we are trying to find probability over number of favorable outcomes. Favorable outcomes means what we really want, right? So in the first case, we want number three. How many number threes are here? Just one. Do you see that? So, so the favorable outcomes is just one number, which is number three. And what are all the possible outcomes? All the possible outcomes are 6, right? So the probability of getting 3 will be 1 out of 6. In fact, if you see, probability of getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, right, independently is 1 over 6, right? Because these numbers appear only once in a total possible ways of 6. Do you understand? That is how we can see it. Now the next question is, probability of rolling 7. Now, how many times do 7 appear here in the list? None, right? So it is 0. So it is impossible to roll 7 here in this case. Do you understand that thing? And total number which you could roll is 1 to 6. That is 6. So this is indeed 0, right? You cannot roll 7. So the chances of getting 7 with a 6-faced die is 0. Now the next question is probability of rolling 1 or 5. So in this case, total number of outcomes are same when you're rolling one die, which is 6. Now 1 or 5, 1 or 5, that means 1 or 5. So there are two possibilities, right? So number of favorable options are 2 for us and therefore we get 2 over 6. And we could reduce this and write 1 over 3 as our answer, right? So these probabilities which I'm writing at present, they are in fractions. You could write them in percent or in decimals also. Probability of getting 2 and 5. You mean 2 and 5 simultaneously in one roll? Well, in one roll, it is a fair die. It will stand on its one of the faces and give you only one number. So that is impossible, right? So this is again 0 over 6, correct? Right? So this is again 0, right? Now the last one is probability of rolling 
even numbers, right? How many even numbers do we have here? Let's figure that out. Number of even numbers are 2, 4, and 6, right? So these are the even numbers. 2, 4, and 6. There are 3 even numbers here. So the possibility is 3 out of 6, correct? So that is our answer for rolling an even number. Do you see that? So we can simplify this and write this as equals to half, right? So this is how we solve problems related to probability, rather theoretical probability of rolling a die, right? So this is how we should do it. So I hope you've understood and you can try similar examples. For example, you can find what is the probability of rolling, let's say four, and what is the probability of rolling odd numbers? Let me write odd numbers, okay? So try to answer these questions, check it out, whether you've really understood or not, right? So we'll continue with probability, interesting questions, and this time we'll take up two dies at a time. Thank you.